Hey guys, I wanna to talk to you today about the Rolo Thermal Printer. Now this is an amazing, amazing device. I gotta tell you that I really am confident that this was one of the best purchases I've made in terms of having a small business and in terms of just being a freelance, independent contractor online. This has really, really been a beneficial purchase. Now here's why. It was pretty easy to set up using the guide videos that are on their website. Nothing too complicated. If you're able to set up an email account for yourself, and honestly, if you have an online business, you probably already are savvy enough to set this thing up, uh, then I think you'll be okay. But there's an on off switch in the back. When you turn it on, it lights up green. It makes that little beep sound to let you know that it's ready to go. And really that's it. It is really ready to go. And this thermal paper right here, you can actually buy it um, on Amazon, which I did, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't have to actually buy these thermal papers. And it's a pretty simple process to get them for free. And I'll tell you how at the end of the video, but I just wanna let you know before we continue anymore, make sure that you check out that link in the description for the absolute best price on one of these. The, the price does fluctuate on the Rolo website, and it, I've actually found that it's pretty much uh, always more expensive than the link that I'm providing. So check out that link down in the description to get the best price on one of these to get extremely fast shipping and obviously great return options and all that. But I don't think you'll wanna return this because this has been one of my favorite purchases of the entire year, and I'm not even exaggerating. I'm gonna show you how this works. I'm gonna give you a sample. And then I'm going to also talk to you about how to get this thermal paper absolutely free because I gotta tell you, I was torn between this and a couple other brands out there. The Dymo label printer is obviously a popular option, but as I was reading reviews, I spent so much time researching this because I wanted to make a good informed decision for my small business. And obviously, you know, these aren't like super cheap. Um, they are going to run you a, quite a bit more than a regular printer, but in the long run, I think this is something you need for your small business. If you ship out more than a couple of packages a week or even a couple packages a month, this is a time saver. It's also more professional and I think the labels are gonna last a lot better on your packages versus printing something out and just taping over it. So let's check this out and see how it works. I'm gonna print a sample label for you. Obviously the address and everything are not actual addresses. It's just going to be a sample and I'm gonna show you how that works. I use this with a Macintosh computer. You can use this on either Mac or PC and I, I find it to be a pretty simple and flawless experience. It was easy to set up with PayPal, Etsy, eBay, all of that stuff. Um, I don't sell on Amazon, but I'd imagine if it was easy to set up on all the other ones, you can set it up with Amazon as well. But let's go ahead and print out a sample label. I've got a sample label here ready to go. Obviously it's a sample do not mail. It's going to Apple, addressed to Steve, or it's from Apple, addressed to Steve Jobs. Um, this is not even sized correctly. When you buy labels through PayPal or wherever it is that you buy your labels from, they're already gonna be sized four by six once you get those settings set up one time. From that point on, it's gonna size it four by six, but even if it doesn't, that's okay because the settings are super easy to adjust, and I'm gonna show you how. I just go to File, Print. Um, once I'm on my label here, File, Print. And you can also use Command P or Control P to get to the print screen. But see, I don't want to print it exactly like this because it's going to have all this white around the edges. Um, so I go to paper size and I just change that to 4x6. And you might not even have to change that depending on if your computer saves the settings. Mine doesn't for whatever reason. But it's no stress. Change that to 4x6 and then I'm just going to click scale to fit. And I think the Mac actually makes it, you know, that extra step just makes it slightly more complicated than if you were printing on a PC or if you were printing on an online service like PayPal or Etsy or Amazon, they kind of take those steps out of the equation for you. Um, this is a label that is downloaded to your computer and it's not even complicated. You just change the paper size to four by six and then I click scale to fit and it's gonna fit it to a four by six. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna hit print. That's all you have to do. I'm going to hit print and let's check out how quickly this prints. It is insane how fast this is. All right, let's hit print and see how quickly this prints out. And this is not sped up or anything. I just want to show you really how extremely fast this is. I'm clicking print, which you'll probably hear the mouse click. And from the time that you hear that click to the time this prints out, it's just insane how fast. Let's go ahead and check it out. 
done. That's it. It takes about a second or less to print out your label, which is just insane. And what's cool about these labels is you don't have to tape or anything like that. You just tear it off. It's already got like the perforated edges and everything. Um, and it's sticky. So you just peel the edge and it's a sticker and it'll go perfectly on your package. See? And what I like about these is they're also a lot better in terms of water resistant than just regular paper. You don't have to worry about this thing if it gets wet or whatever because it's a special type of paper to where your label is really ready to go. Um, and, and then obviously your label won't have sample do not mail written across it. This was just a sample that I found online and wanted to print for you. And your label is actually going to look even better than this when you print it out because this one was not even sized four by six. Your label through PayPal and Etsy and all that, they're gonna print out perfectly with the edges and everything. Um, this one printed out as good as it's going to because it wasn't an official label. This was just something I think somebody made up in Photoshop. Um, but as you can see, we've got our sender, the person it's addressed to, our tracking number. And I also use a tracking number scanning app. And I've gotta say these scan perfectly on the app. And I've not, ha I've shipped probably uh, I don't know, 70 or so packages using this since I got it. And I gotta say that it scans perfectly. Have not had any packages not be scanned or not delivered. Now the reason I think all small businesses need one of these, even if you're just starting out, is because one, it's an amazing investment. As you can see, there's not a ton of stuff going on on the back, just that power button, which I'm gonna go ahead and switch off. Easy as that. But it's not a lot to set it up, and it's not a lot in terms of an investment if you're getting this for a business or a small business and you want to go all professional, you want to look professional, you also want to save yourself some time. This is the way to go. I really do think this is well worth the money. I'm glad I didn't buy the Dymo, though, because you have to buy Dymo labels to use with that one. And even if you don't, you have to buy a knockoff brand and like risk it messing up your Dymo machine. And that's kind of the, the risk with that that I saw in a lot of comments. It's awesome if you don't mind buying those Dymo labels. And I think it's a really good label maker. I really do because I have a friend who uses it for her Scentsy business. And it works out great for her. But I just could not help myself with the design of this one. I, I actually really like the design of it. It's quite small. It's not that big. I mean, I have a giant printer sitting over beside of it, which is way bigger, as you can see just here on the edges. Um, this one's pretty small. This is a tiny plant here beside of it. It's very small. It's not had any issues once it's set up. That's pretty much it. Their customer support is also really good from what I've actually um, gotten to use it for. I had a question, sent it to them and got a quick response. But the real big thing with this is that you can get these labels for free. I bought the ones that you see here, but I also have a stack of about a thousand labels in a closet because I don't have to buy these anymore. Um, I set up a small business account with UPS on their website, and you do have to, once you set up your account, go in and create a payment account as well. You don't have to spend any money, but you do need to put a payment on file in case you do buy something like a shipping label with them, and they do have a good service, so I do recommend using it if you're in need of a shipping provider and you ship some pretty big objects. I think they're great for that. Um, but once you set up your small business account online and you set up a payment method, you can order supplies. And under the supplies, they let you order a pack of these thermal labels. And when I say a pack, I mean a giant pack is like a thousand of these uh, or so through UPS. So it's going to be a while before you even need any more. And I believe that resets. They let you order one every once in a while. So I believe that resets every so often. But I got to tell you, this was such a good investment. I do not regret it at all. I'm putting the link down in the description to where you can get one of these as well as the labels to get you started. I'll put the exact labels that I got because these have worked out really, really good for me. They're high quality and they're pretty affordable. Um, and I do recommend if you don't want to wait on the labels from UPS because those take about a week and a half to get to your house or your business, then just go ahead and get the labels as well. It's a pretty big pack and you'll probably be quite a while before you're even out of those. But this is indispensable now. I don't know what I did without it before. I don't know why I didn't get this sooner because I would have saved a fortune on ink. It's thermal, so it does not use ink. That's what's great. This looks like it was printed with a ton of ink, right? This would have used a ton of ink out of my regular printer, but it wasn't. It was printed with a thermal printer, which means that there was no ink involved. You never have to buy ink for this, which means in the long run for your business, you're actually gonna save quite a bit of money. I think this is a great investment. 
If you're looking for things to improve your business and you're looking for actual good investments and in products for your business and supplies and equipment, I don't think you can go wrong with this. I've been super satisfied with it and it's worked great. I've also used it with Mercari. I forgot to talk about them and a lot of other websites. So if you're thinking about the Rolo and you're thinking about maybe getting a Dymo or something else, I wouldn't think any more about it. I would just go with this one and set up a small business account with UPS in order to get those free labels. From that point, you're just gonna be ready to go. Again, please check out my link, it supports the show. It also gets you the absolute best price on one of these. And you can check out, even if you're just on the fence about it and you wanna check it out, still use that link because it's gonna take you to the exact one you see right here. And the size is just so great. I mean, this is a four by six label here. And as you can see, the whole device is not much bigger. It's super portable. I love it. It works with Mac and PC. I don't think you could go wrong. I think you'll be happy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out in any way. Subscribe if you haven't already and you want more small business tips and advice. And I'll see you guys later.